This is digestive system. The digestive system is a system through which nutrition of human being takes place. The digestive system of um, the digestive system consists of alimentary canal and its associated gland. The alimentary canal, which runs from mouth to anus, and it is about nearest about nine meter long tube. Uh, so uh, now I will tell you. Now I will tell you the various steps involved in involved in nutrition of human and digestive system of human being. Now start. The first step of nutrition involve ingest ingestion. The in human being the food ingest in. The human being, the food ingests through the mouth. The food put into the mouth with our hand. And next process is digestion. The digestion complete in human being from the alimentary canal. Now start digestion in human being. The first part of alimentary canal from the mouth. In the mouth, the food, the teeth cut food into small pieces, chew and grind it. This digestion is physical digestion. And the next proof and the next salivary gland. The salivary gland in the mouth to produce saliva, and um, and which contain an um, enzyme salivary amylase, which secret which digest the starch present in the food into sugar. This digestion is chemical digestion. And our tongue, our tongue help helps in mixing the saliva with food. This digestion of food even incomplete in mouth. And next, the slightly digested food in the mouth is swallowed by the tongue and into the, and um, goes down the food pipe uh, called esophagus. When the parts, when the partially, when the slightly digested food um, enter the food pipe, uh, this is food pipe and uh, also called esophagus. Uh, when the slightly digested food uh, enter the food pipe, the wall of food pipe for uh, constriction and expansion movement. This movement uh, is called uh, peristaltic movement. The peristaltic movement of uh, food pipe is push. Uh, the slightly digested food enter the stomach. The stomach is J shaped. This is stomach, and the stomach is J shaped organ uh, present in the left side of the abdomen. The stomach wall consists of uh, the tubular gland in its wall, which secret gastric juice. The gastric juice contain three substances: hydrochloric acid. And uh, the enzyme pepsin and mucus. The hydrochloric acid create an acidic mater uh, material, which uh, facilitated the action of uh, the enzyme pepsin, and the mucus help to protect the wall of the stomach from its own secretion of hydrochloric acid. <coughs> from the stomach, partially digested from food. Enter the small intestine. The small intestine is the. This is the small intestine. The partially digested from the stomach. The partially digested food enter the small intestine. This is small intestine, and the small intestine is the largest part of a. This is largest part of alimentary canal. The small intestine is very narrow, and uh, coil in our balance in the coil form of coil in our belly. The small intestine in human being. Is the site of complete digestion, and uh, the small intestine receives the secretion of two glands, liver and pancreas. Liver secret bile. Bile. Bile is a greenish yellow liquid made in the liver. Made in bile is a yellow greenish uh, made in the liver and stored in gallbladder. This is gallbladder and this is liver. And by, uh, next, bile perform two functions. First, make the acidic food coming from the stomach uh, alkaline so that pancreatic and enzyme can act on it. And uh, next, bile salt break down the fat present in the food into a small gulliver, making it easy for the enzyme to act. 
and uh, digest them and next the pancreas secret pancreatic juice this is pancreas and the next uh, the, the pancreas secret pancreatic juice um, which contain enzyme the pancreatic and the amylase like pancreatic amylase for breaking down the starch trypsin for uh, digesting protein and uh, lipids for breaking down emulsified fats the wall of the small intestine contain gland which secret intense intestinal juice the enzyme present in it finally convert the protein into amino acid complex carbohydrate glucose and uh, fat into fatty acid in this way the process of uh, in this way the process of digestion convert the large and uh, insoluble molecule food food molecule into a small water soluble food molecule and next process absorption absorption and uh, the small intestine is the main reason for absorption of digested food the inner surface of a small intestine the inner surface of a small intestine has numerous finger like uh, projection called villi which increase the area surface area for rapid uh, absorption of digested food the digested food which um, absorbed through the wall of a small intestine goes into our blood and next process is assimilation the process of uh, absorbed food using uh, for energy uh, repair tissues and growth uh, this process is called assimilation the blood carries digested food the blood carries uh, digested food uh, digested and uh, dissolved food uh, to all part of the body to all part of the body where it become assimilation assimilated as a part of the cell and it's utilized for the obtaining energy and it's you uh, and um, building up new tissues and uh, repair of the old tissues and next and last process of ejection ejection the unabsorbed food is sent into the then uh, the unabsorbed food sent into the large intestines this is large intestine and this is rectum and this is anus the this is uh, large intestine and rectum and anus the unabsorbed food is sent into the large intestine where uh, more will i absorb water from this um, material and the undigested food pass through out from the anus let us me let us me see the practically let us me see the practically